According to former Army spokesperson Brigadier General Sani Usman, terrorists are increasingly choosing kidnapping as a more practical alternative since they realize it is pointless to lose their life for a religious cause. He emphasized how kidnapping is thought to carry less risk than insurgency and terrorism. He made the point that Abuja's concentration of riches makes it a desirable location for kidnappers. He maintained that terrorism is only a facade, that if its motivations are materialistic rather than ideological, especially when they are wrapped in religious prejudice, he concluded that stopping ransom payments is the best way to uh, way to stop a kidnapping. He said in an interview with Arise TV, he said, We all know terrorism to be just a facade. It is ideological and they gave it a semblance of ideological in the sense that it is religious bigotry. But deep inside their uh, deep inside their leaders know it is just materialistic oriented. Terrorists are getting wiser. They realize they have been risking their lives on a religion uh, for no reason. Therefore, kidnapping seems to be the best option. More so, the risks are minimal compared to terrorism and insurgency, so to speak. And Abuja seems to provide the natural soft ground for them because the money is there. The ultimate solution to kidnapping is the stoppage of the payments of ransom, but it is easier said and done because once you are not involved, you can say so. But if any of your relations, your child is involved, you will do everything to get them released. <laughs> Can't you see that terrorists don't make noise, but all of our governments make noise, and the government are winning every day? Shame! It's a shame. Here, another on serious person talking here. Nigeria have education without knowledge. If the government decided that the maximum cash that individual can withdraw in his BVN is 20,000 kidnapping, we go with online transaction. They will be caught and they can't even wait for the time to make million cash payments because paper money will be scared. It's a lie. It is a lie. With all the things they put in place, they don't want to use it. Did Pantami not say that they don't want to use the NIN, which we know himself, he has an ulterior motive. Himself has, be, has goofed before now. Now, Wiki is looking for another device to track a... <laughs> to track... Who, who is it called? To track a... What, is it, what do they call them? The kidnappers. So all this why they never got in this whole thing. Now they want to budget for that. So they have deviated from what their terrorist father Mohammed taught them or what? Please, you have to clear this. Region for no reason. Oga, okay? check your weddings. Let me debunk the conclusion of this army general. Kidnapping is not religious. It is ideological. Kidnapping is part of terror tactics to extract some political gain. Two, kidnapping, the one we see in the north, is not terror in the service of money. If it were kidnappers have made trillions from ransom, not to risk their efforts. Abuja is a target now for political reasons. They are spreading the notion that Nigeria is a failed state that Tinubu cannot secure Nigeria. Ransom payments endanger lives rather than save it in the long term. Terror is evil. Terrorism is evil to mankind. That is why they hide under religion to keep people, to manipulate people and delete people. Almighty has a way of punishing the wicked. They will be rooted out in the country. Stop diverting people's attention, please. Arrest the sponsors and see what will happen. No, they won't arrest them. They won't go after them. Now they are saying they are coming to Abuja. <laughs> if uh, the seat of power is not safe, then uh, where is not safe in this country? The people that left, their APC member that left, said they were going to expose those who are the sponsors. Till today, they said they have about 400, they have the names. They were ready to publish the name. Till today, they didn't do anything. And the uh, 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 irresponsible additional and Buhari, they are coming out to be writing nonsense books. 
they are writing books here and there. The retired brigadier is one of the kidnapper sponsors. You can give, you can imagine the audacity. He should be invited for questioning. Yes. See one of them talking. We don't the talk and sense. Say na people in government. Now, she una don't hear from one of them directly. You security personnel are the one Nigeria need to face on insecurity in Nigeria, not government because you people are the security that secured nothing since 2007. They're just giving excuses here and there. I think it's one of their sponsors. If communities are allowed to take care of their areas, kidnapping will be a past story. But the way it is happening show that some elements in government and security agents give them support. That is in fact. Imagine what Army General is saying. Is it not senseless statement? Let us use our best citizens to develop Nigeria. It's like a, you are one of them. <laughs> Everybody just pointing fingers at this man that you, you cannot come and deceive us again. Well, these are what Nigerians are, are feeling by, by the statement of this man. So guys, let's know what you think. Whether this man is saying the truth or not. Thank you.